Okay, so I'm ready to do a full flight test of my camera board. This is the snapshot camera. In flight, it'll be on the entire flight, so it's on right now. This is the video camera. Just by happenstance, when I apply power to the control board here, it'll turn on, so the first thing we do is turn it back off. Um, so here's a little jumper to start it. This stuff is just my programming dongle for my PC to program the chip on here. Um, this is a small Atmel chip, an AT Tiny 85. This is an optocoupler that I use for running the camera. Uh, this blue light will flash anytime the snapshot camera takes a picture. This green light flashes at one hertz and that's uh, attached to a jumper which normally goes to a beeper but I forgot to pack the beeper so it won't be with the flight this time. Alright, so I'm going to slip this jumper on which is a bit of a manipulation here. When I put it on we should see that camera power on and then it'll power off about five seconds later. Okay, the camera powered on. First thing the code does is turn it back off. All right, and we see the one hertz flash, so this would be beeping the beeper right now. The beeper is configured to beep for the first 15 minutes of flight, or first 15 minutes after powering on, which is basically when I'm getting the payload prepared. So it's sort of comforting to know that the microcontroller is working <laughs> when I hear the beep. So if I it stops beeping while I'm prepping things, I know I knocked something loose or broke something. So uh, I've had situations where I couldn't see an LED very clearly, so having the beeper on for the first 15 minutes is nice. And then it'll turn off and won't turn on again until around landing time. Then that beeper comes back on and will stay on until batteries die or I find the payload. All right, so we're coming up on a minute. When we do, we should see the blue light in the center there flash, this guy, and we should hear this camera take a picture, and this camera should start to power on. So I'm actually, there we go, that picture to, the camera took a picture, and we see that one's turned on. We should see the red record light come on, there it goes, so that camera's now started recording. So it's going to record for one minute, so watch this space. At the end of one minute, this is just a test, of course, so at the end of one minute, what's going to happen is this camera is currently taking snapshots once a minute, so we'll see the flash for the one uh, minute flash uh, pop here. We'll see the red light go out for record being turned off, and then about five seconds later, the camera turns off. So we give it that five second delay between operations so that the camera can close the SD card and all that sort of stuff before we power off the camera. So that should all happen in about another 30 seconds. Everything's working kind of nicely. This additional connector here is for extra battery power. So this will be attached to another pair of batteries. There's the snapshot. Record is turned off. Now this camera should turn off. And beautiful. So this power cord will basically attach in parallel to the batteries that are internal to both these cameras. So all the batteries are in parallel together. So they're basically sharing power. So hopefully that will make sure that uh, if one of them is a bit of a pig, uses m too much power, the other one can help it out. Um, I did not have time to do an exhaustive battery test this time, so we're just going to kind of wing it. I know that the pre uh, changing haven't changed the record um, for this guy, and the batteries had lots of juice left after the flight. And I'm not recording a lot of video with this one on this flight, so I expect the batteries to hold up really well. Um, so that's what that additional connector is for. And there's holes on here to mount uh, one of the trackers, which will be in the box. And another tracker will be mounted on the outside of the box. And this is where the mounting will be for the additional batteries. So that's the payload for this flight. And it just took another picture. I heard a click.